Sir Paul Edmund Strzelecki was born on 20th of July 1797 at Kwasina near Poznań in Poland, which at that time was partitioned amongst Russia, Prussia and Austria. His senatorial family can be traced back to 1391. Born into Polish nobility, he was educated in Warsaw. Excellent administrator, he became the plenipotentiary of Prince Francis Sapieha's estates, but following a legal dispute, Strzelecki left his native country, never to return. He spent 10 years travelling around the world. Four years were devoted to explorations in Australia. He arrived in Sydney 170 years ago, on 25th of April 1839. Soon after, while exploring the Bathurst area, he discovered gold. In December, he left Sydney to explore the Australian Snowy Mountains. On 12th of March 1840, Strzelecki got to the roof of Australia, to the highest point, and named it Mount Kosciuszko. After the great Polish patriot, Tadeusz Kosciuszko. The highest peak of Australian Alps, it towers over the entire continent, which before my coming had not been surmounted by anyone with its everlasting snows the silence and dignity with which it is surrounded. I have reserved and consecrated as a reminder for future generations upon this continent of a name dear and hallowed to every Paul, to every human, to every friend of freedom and honor. Kościuszko. After Strzelecki discovered Mount Kosciuszko, he sent a letter to his fiancée Adina. Folded into the pages of his lengthy letter was a white mountain daisy. Here is the flower from Mount Kosciuszko, the highest peak of the continent, the first in the new world, bearing a Polish name. I believe that you will be the first Polish woman to have a flower from that mountain. Let it remind you ever of freedom, patriotism and love. Strzelecki trudged more than 7,000 miles in Australia, often in a zigzag pattern, over the Blue Mountains and the Western Goldfields, to the Snowy Mountains and Gippsland, through the Hunter and Northern New South Wales. He explored, observed, named, tested, collected samples, mapped, and finally in 1845 in England, he published the physical description of New South Wales and Van Diemen's Land. has no limits. High definition filming, TV programs, documentary movies, TV commercials, music video clips, Oski pictures. Looking for your video production experts? We are here. High quality, great service and low prices. No job too small or too big. Call us today for a free quote. <laughs>